Hi friends, it's Carolyn Zuck here with Czuk Stitch and today is Saturday, February 6, 2021. This is my channel about cross stitch. So welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're returning. I'm really glad that you're here and willing to spend part of your day or evening with me. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. So it's February already. It's a short month. Um, but I wanted to share some stats from my January stitching with you. Uh, as you know, I track my number of hours, my time. I don't track number of stitches typically unless I'm using Pattern Keeper, which automatically tracks your stitches for you. But even in that case, I will still track uh, time. Just because for me, it's easier to do it that way. So in January, I actually had the most stitching hours of any month since I started keeping track, which... I started keeping track, I think, last January, so about a year ago. But I got 102 and a half hours of stitching in January, which is the most for me. I think I did come close to October. One, one of those fall months, I came close. I think I was at 99 hours. Um, but 102.5 hours. I had four new starts and two finishes. I showed you the Easter Bunny uh, finish earlier by Blackbird Designs. I showed you that about mid-month and then I have another finish which I'll show you today. So those are my stats. I'm really pleased with my progress. Now let's get into questions and comments. So <laughs> first of all, so I showed this last week. Last week I showed you my, I went to Acorns and Threads which is my local needle workshop here in Portland and I showed you this chubby bird. I called it chubby bunny because that just rolled off my tongue. Um, if any of you know that game from childhood of where you shove marshmallows in your mouth and try to say chubby bunny. Um, this is called chubby bird. <laughs> so if you are calling acorns and threads, this is an acorns and threads exclusive design. It comes with uh, finishing trim. It comes with the floss. Um, and then there's a tin. This tin you can buy. It's only $5. For the tin and then you can get fabric with it as well. I bought this um my friend Robin wanted me to pick this up for her. I still haven't mailed it right. I'm sorry. Um but I just wanted to correct it that if any of you called acorns and asked for chubby bunny it's chubby bird. Okay and it is an acorns exclusive and you can see right on here it says acorns and threads. Of course you can leave that off if you want. Um, but this is only sold at Acorns, and I always leave Acorns number in the description box below in case you are looking for that. So that's one correction. The other correction, I also showed this, which I picked up. Um, this is a little organ chart by Hindsight, and uh, they have all the states. I think, of course, Oregon has the Oregon one, and they had this made up in the shop, and it was really, really cute. The color for colors are blue and gold, which are not at all Oregon's colors. Oregon is much more green, and that's the model that they had made up. So I'm probably going to change the colors to find a really pretty green. But it comes with charms. So we had six charms. Three of mine are the same. So I'm not sure if that's supposed to be how it is or not. But anyway, and I showed this charm, and I think I called it windsurfing. I forgot the name of what this sport is called. Let me show this to you. This is kiteboarding. And mm, there. So it's kiteboarding. So you are standing on a surfboard type um, platform and then you have a sail on it. Um, it's called kiteboarding. And it's, I just forgot the name, but a couple of you uh, corrected me in the comments who live out in the gorge, which is where um, kiteboarding is very, it's very famous. Our gorge is very famous for kiteboarding. So I forgot that name. So thank you. Thank you for correcting me. And then I have a question for you all actually. Connie asked me, do you have a good source for ornament fabric packs? Uh, fabric packs. Um, and I don't for a fabric pack. The only thing I can think of, Connie, is a lot of times on one, two, three stitch, they have smaller cuts of fabric, which are quite inexpensive. Let me see if I have one. Yeah, I have one here. Although this one is, that one's bigger than one I wanted to show you. Here, 
Here's... Well, this one's still bigger. They have smaller cuts than this. This is a 13 by 18 cut, which is much bigger. They have smaller ones. They have like not, they have like half of this. So they have nine by 13, I think is a pretty small cut. You could use for ornaments. That would be a pretty good ornament size. And they have it in all different um, colors and types of fabric. So you could just buy kind of the smallest um, cut of fabric from one, two, three stitch. But in it, if any of you know of any uh, smaller shops or anywhere that sells ornament fabric packs, um, can you please leave it in the comments? And Connie and I will look through the comments and see if we can find any um, places that sell ornament fabric packs. So thank you for that. Um, okay, let's get right into our progress for the week. So I had a finish. I, as I told you, I'm going to be doing a Sunday spin. So typically once a month, I will do at the start of the month, I will spin my tiny decisions wheel and um, see what piece I'm going to work on on Sundays. Just because last year, all every Sunday I worked on temperature tree and I kind of missed that. So I'd like to, I have a wheel with all of my goal pieces for the, for the year, which there's 40 of them. <laughs> and so just trying to move them closer to the goal. So last week I spun You Bring Peace to My Heart. This is a freebie by Hands On Designs. So if you go to handsondesigns.blogspot.com, you can find it on there. So You Bring Peace to My Heart. I had started this in like 2018, I think. I, I started, I had the U stitched up and then I just didn't touch it for a whole year. Well, I spun it last Saturday to work on for last Sunday and I finished it. I actually took out the U, the colors. I wanted to change the colors. Clearly I'm in very much a uh, Valentine's Day mood. <laughs> So I wanted to change out the colors. I had a very, well, maybe I even have one here still, so yes. And I like these two colors together. I had this very magenta and this yellow, which are not bad, I like them. But I'm in a Valentine's Day mood, so I don't even know what I used, honestly. I already put, I already put the faucet away. It's just DMC, it's whatever I had on hand. So you bring peace to my heart. I stitched this on a piece of 14 count Fiddler's Oatmeal Ada. It's a huge piece. I, I have, I could stitch this three more times if I wanted to. They have it finished as a little pillow, which I might do. What I think I'm going to do is I think I want to find like a little, I could stitch little kitty cats on here, but I think it'd be cute to have like a little charm, like a little dimension to it. So I might get a couple of little kitty cat charms or buttons or something or needle minder even and put those on there and then make it into either just a a, a piece that I mount on. Um, I guess it'd be cute as a pillow too, um, but uh, just like a, a picture frame basically. Not put it in a frame, well I guess I could, but just mounting it on an easel is what I'm trying to say. So this is You Bring Me to My Heart by Hands On Design. That is a finish, so. I got to mark that off my goals sheet, and I'm really happy about that. So we will be spinning again today to find out what I'm going to work on starting tomorrow. And the, the idea is that I work on it every Sunday just to move it forward towards the goal, because some of the pieces I have on there are very, very small. This took me, I don't know, two, three hours, I think, in the first probably 15, 20 minutes was frogging out what I had already stitched, which is the whole word you, and then I restitched it. So it's a super fast stitch. So I did it all on that last Sunday. So I'll be um, spinning again today to find out what piece I'm going to work on in February. And that, that will be my goal. You know, I have some really large pieces, so it'll just move it a little bit closer to that. The other thing that I finished was I finished block four of Spring at Hawk Run Hollow. This is loosely what it will look like. Block four is the one with the boat and the kites. So I finally finished that and I took it off the Q snaps to show it to you. And Simon is here, so get ready if you hear a meow. Let me show you this first. So 
we have this finished. And I finished that right at the end of the month, so that was great. So much stitching in these, but they are really, really nice. And that leads straight into my new starts uh, for the month. So I did start block five, which I can show you what it will look like. So block five is this one with the tree and the bunnies and all that. And this is where I got, so I got the border done and I have almost this whole um, field of bunnies done. I do have one of the bunnies is complete right there. It's a light gray bunny. Now, when I pulled out the floss for this, so I'm using just the DMC. I'm not using the silks. I'm using the DMC conversion. And I know a lot of people said that it doesn't really match up to what is in the picture. So I pulled this and it does call, this is the right color. It's like a jade color is what it calls for or like a teal um and I was like why is the grass blue it looks like they're swimming in water and so I checked this picture but it is blue like if you look here it is blue it is blue in there as well I think it's just so I almost changed it to green so it's more reflective of a hill um kind of like you know you can see some green in there um, you know, you see the green clearly in this one, but mine looks like how the picture, I think these are just kind of funky designs. And so I'm going with what's called for. I did not change it. Um, which hopefully I won't regret, <laughs> but, uh, so this is how far I got. My goal, of course, is to finish block five this month. So I have a good start. Yeah, there's so much stitching. And in this one, there's a lot of counting, too, because you have to account for all the little bunnies running around. But So I have the blue field is all done. I just have to fill in the bunnies, which will go pretty quick. And then I think there's another layer here. And then it's repeated on the other side. Um, and if since it's out of the Q-snaps, I will show you the whole thing. So this is where we are. We're almost halfway done. So there's the bird nest, the first two blocks, blocks um, three and four. And then we're working on block five. So this is where we're at. I still like it. Um, I think I was getting a little burnt out on it at the end of last year. It is hard to do one a month. One a month sounds great in theory, but it is hard to keep up with. And I'm stitching this on a 32 count um, vanilla latte by Be Stitch Me. And I'm doing two over two. So that is Spring at Hawker and Hollow. My other new start, I had several new starts. So my other new start was this piece by With Thy Needle and Thread. It's called Our Hearts. And the, it says, your heart and my heart are very old friends. And I'm stitching this as a friendship piece with my friends Robin and Andrea. Simon has come here. He is, you can see his ears. Hello. Oh, he's going to step on the computer. <laughs> um, and so I worked on this. My goal for the month was four hours, and I got four hours in. So this is, I'm just using all the called for. The and I the fabric I'm using is from my stash. It's a 32 count platinum Lugana. So I love those colors. Very soft, kind of subtle. So I got the top kind of two borders done. And what we're gonna do, we were talking about doing a round robin and all that, but what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna stitch it and then send it to each other to put our own initials in. So you see there's a couple initials there. And then we're going to take out, like my initials will go down here on my piece. And then my friends will stitch their initials in that piece. So I have the top two borders done. And this will come back out um, next month. I'm going to try to fit this these pieces into the cross sticks, the monthly cross sticks as I can. Um, so that is our hearts. The other one that I started, two more that I started this uh, this month. Uh, the first one is 
called You Are So Loved by the Snowflower Diaries. I've showed this one a lot. Um, this is a terrible picture, but it's a freebie on the Snowflower's Diaries um, blog. So if you just Google it, it should come up. It's called You Are So Loved. I'm stitching us on something from my stash. This is a 32 count raw gold Belfast linen. And this is where I got. So it is kind of sparkly. And this is the size, Connie, this is the size of fabric I was talking about that 123 Stitch sells a lot of. And I buy these when I'm testing samples of fabric for a larger piece. I'll buy, this is a nine, this is a nine by 13 piece. And these are good for ornaments. Um, but I also buy them if I'm testing samples of fabric to see if it will go for a larger piece. And then I just add them to my stash. And so when I have a small freebie like this or an ornament, I can just pull from that. Anyway, so this is where I got to. So I have the birdies done and the word loved. I'm just using the called for. And I did um, four hours on this as well, which is my goal for the month. And again, this will come back out because I do want to have it finished. So that is You Are So Loved. It's actually pretty close to being done. I have some flowers to do the you are so and then another little bird and some little details. So that shouldn't take much longer. But I'm going to put it away for this month. And then the next one that I started, let me find the fabric. They are sharing a project bag because they are small projects. This is Carolyn and her cats. It is a design by my friend Lynette Peters. You can find this on her Etsy site, um, which is called Hexagons and Cross Stitches, or Cross Stitches and Hexagons. I'll link it down below for you. Carolyn and her cats. The center, it comes with five different centers you can choose from. The center you're seeing here is a dog and a cat, um, but I'm choosing the two cats center, obviously. So this is what it will look like. And I put four hours in on this one as well. And this is where I got to. I'm stitching this on an 18 count Ada that Lynette also sent me. And I the floss I am using is a floss from Australia that Lynette also sent me. It is 210 Tropic Sea. The brand is Cottage Garden Threads. It is beautiful to work with. The variegation is just lovely, and I just love how it is turning out. So, um, yeah. So this is done for this month, but like I said, it will come out next month because I do want it finished. Uh, and so, yeah. So that was that. And then the other piece I worked on this week my um, order from, so 123 Stitch or Stony Creek, one of those came in that I've been waiting on. Um, so I did some work on, this is from the Stony Creek magazine. This is the autumn 2020 issue. And I am working on Glory to the Newborn King. It will look like this. Beautiful, beautiful. I started up here. Um, this was on my Bringo board. So Bringo is officially over. Robin and I, if you're waiting to find out winners, Robin and I will be figuring that out today. Um, and let me show you my Bringo board. So this is one of the ones that was outstanding um, because I was waiting for an order of threads to come in. So it was the center one. I got it done. So I got everything done done on the Bringo except this one, uh, the Peter Rabbit, that fabric didn't come in until I think on the 31st or the 1st of February. So that one wasn't going to happen. Um, but Glory to the Newborn King, it was two hours because the prompt was a magazine new start and to do two hours on that. So I had started this when it was called, um, started this when it was called and I got like 10 minutes in and realized I couldn't even, because I don't trust my accounting, so I don't want to stray too, too far away. Um, so I had to wait for the new threads to come in. And they did, and this is where I'm at now. Isn't that beautiful? So I got about two and a half hours total in. 
um, this first one. So this is what it will look like. And I am stitching this on a piece of fabric that Robin sent me when she um, found a really great haul from Goodwill. It's a 28 count R&R &R creme brulee. So this will be beautiful and I'm excited about that. I don't know when it will come back out, uh, but I am very excited about it. That one does go a little bit slower because, um, you know, the, the linen and whatnot, and I just try to go a little bit slower so I don't miscount or anything. So that is what I worked on this week. I'm really pleased. I really, really feel good that I got that, that little um, You Bring Peace to My Heart piece done. It, it's just, um, it's crazy. So I can show you my goal page. I'll show it to you. Um, so I have in my in my planner here, this is my WIPCO board. And next to it, I have my goals for 2021. So these there are 40 projects listed, and I'll highlight them as I meet the goals. So the two that are highlighted now, the Easter Parade Bunny, my goal was to finish, did that. Peace to my heart, my goal was to finish, I did that. I have a lot of finish. You can see a lot of finished pieces. Several of these are small ornaments that just need to be done. Not all of them are finishes though. So we can keep track of that as we go along. Okay, so haul, 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 haul. I got some stuff in the mail. I got the winter 2021 Stony Creek cross stitch magazine, which I will be doing a flip through of for you. So that came in. I placed an order from 123 Stitch. It did take a while for it to come in, uh, but it finally came in. And let me show you. Well, this is the first thing that was totally enabled by Robin, Bird's Eye Stitcher. This is called Laughing in Flowers. It's by the Victoria Sampler, and I just love these flowers. I will probably leave the saying off. It says the earth laughs in flowers. I'll either leave that off or um, replace it with something else. But I just love it. It's a great spring piece. I love wildflowers. They're kind of my favorite. It calls for Gentle Arts, uh, MPI, Krynik, Gloriana Silk. Um, so they, a lot of her pieces they sell in bundles. I don't think they sell these in bundles. So I might just um, pull from my stash um, colors that look similar and not worry about the variegation. We'll see. We'll see. Or maybe do some of the variegation. But I just thought this was really pretty. So I got that. And then I did get a piece of 28 count antique white Lugana to stitch it on. So I got that. Just thought a nice, simple, plain background. Um, what does it call for? They have more of a modeled um, fabric. They call for a 28 count vintage lentil, um, but I just got vintage white. Is that what I said? Antique white. <laughs> so I got that. I, I need all the floss and figure out what I'm gonna do for floss for that one. I got all of my fabrics for, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six here. They are all the same. They are also the same antique white 28 count. I got them for the Peter Rabbit calendar because I want to do all six of them and I want to have them as a series. This was going to be my on my Bringo board, but the fabric did not come into the variant. But it's here now, so I'll have to figure out another time when to start that. I have, I think, everything I need now that the fabric is in for that. Then while I was there on one, two, three stitch, I saw this um, Kohler um, Classic Charts, Kohler Design Studio, I think it's called. This very vintage Christmas. It's called Victorian Snowman. And I thought it was just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I can't resist. I just, these intricate pieces. And I also got a bunch of the floss and there's a bunch of Krynik for it as well. Um, 
this is my note that I'm missing a few of the false colors. Um, but yeah, there's some pretty red sparkle, copper, white, crinet. So I need to find a, I don't know when I'm going to start this, but apparently I wanted to start it soon because I have all the, I ordered all the floss. Um, but soon, you know, it's not really Christmas season. I like to stitch in season. Um, and I have a lot of Christmas projects already on the go. But I have that in my stash. Now, this next, this is a separate order from 123 Stitch, but still from 123 Stitch. This is completely enabled by Pam and Steph. They showed that this on their floss tube on Sunday. This is a series, it's a monthly series by Pine Mountain Designs. I typically don't like monthly series, I like the seasonal pieces. But I don't typically like the monthly series because I'm just, I'm like, I'm just not going to change them out every month. But this series, like every single one she showed was so cute. So I ran to 123Stitch and just ordered them all. March is on back order. So they will contact me when March comes in. But otherwise, I have all of them. So I'll show them to you now. So this is January. I just love how, like, here's your New Year's Eve clock. Here's your onesie, your snowman. I just love... I don't know. I just, here's February. I think February is so super sweet. They are on different fabrics as well. So March um, is not here. I think there's a lion and a lamb on March. But here's April with the umbrella and the galoshes. Like I just, I just think it's so cute and it's so unique. It's so unlike a lot of the ones I've seen. Here's May. Very pretty gardening. Here's June. We're going camping. Here's July, 4th of July. I'm not a big patriotic stitcher, but I love this. Here's August. So going to the beach, getting in your last hurrah before school starts in September. Look at him running to catch the bus. How adorable is that? I just think it's so cute. And then October, you have your black kitty, your cauldron, and your witch. Which looks like a nice witch. November, getting ready for Thanksgiving and fall. And then December is Santa and Christmas. I love these. I'm so excited about these. Um, they call for a DMC. They call for all different fab. Well, maybe not every single one is not necessarily different. But they are not, it's not necessarily all the same exact fabric. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. Um, I probably won't frame each of them. Um, Stitchy Mommy, Sarah, is doing something where she got a flip calendar from Amazon. And I might do that where you just mount them and then flip it over as each month changes. Or I've also thought about, you know how you can buy those perpetual calendars where you just change the date manually. So I thought that might be cute where that's the month and then I just get blocks or something that have the date two blocks and then I just change it manually. I thought that would be kind of cute. So I'm not sure yet. I'm a ways away from doing that. These, I just went to go check my mail because I, I knew these were coming in soon this week. Um, I just went to go check my mail before I sat down to film. And so um, these were in there, which I'm so excited to look over them. So they call for DMC. Finish size is 6 by 4 Stitch count, uh, yeah, it looks pretty similar. 96 wide by 62 high. And I kind of, like, you know I kind of want things to all look same, same. But I really like that they have different backgrounds different fabric on a lot of them and like this frame goes so well with that kind of pastel -y colors so I'm not sure what I'm going to do I, I don't want to get like 12 different frames that's going to be too many um so I might take inspiration from the frame and mount it or something I'm not sure I'm not sure yet if you have ideas on how to finish those please let me know again those are pine mountain designs they are called snapshots and I love them. I love them so much. And I'm excited to sit down and look it up. Okay, the other piece of haul, I won um, a giveaway from Stitching with the Housewives. 
um, Chelsea and Priscilla. So I won this DMC thread pack for the 2021 Stronger Together design that's celebrating Black History Month. It also comes with a bracelet, a uh, fat quarter shop. This is courtesy of fat quarter shop. So the bracelet's fat quarter shop. Um, this is Stronger Together. I haven't looked up the chart, but I know that there's a chart. I don't, I'm not sure that it's free anymore. I know it was, but this is the floss pack for that. So thank you very much to Priscilla and Chelsea for sending this off and letting me win. So that is very handy. Okay, so speaking of giveaways, let's do some giveaways of our own, shall we? We shall. Okay, so last week I picked this up when I was at um, Acorns and Threads. I just thought it was really cute. It's by the Sweetheart Tree. Be as happy as a bird with a french fry. There are a lot of really great comments um, in the in the comments section about, you know, how you had experiences with the bird still in your fry or things like that. I thought it was really great. The winner of this is Sherry Eagles. Sherry, I think I still owe you something that I haven't sent out yet. So if so, I'll package them together. But Sherry, you won this chart. So congratulations. I will get that sent. And then this um, hands-on design, so this was an exclusive design to the Stitchy Box Advent Calendar. A lot of you really wanted this um, deer tear. It's called deer tear, so it's like a tiered tray with a couple of deer. And the winner of this is Lynette Peters. So Lynette, congratulations. I will send this out to you. Okay, now for this week, I never heard from Deb, who won this a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah, I never heard from her. So I'm going to give it away again. This is called Angel Bobble Kit. So it's a kit where you make an angel. It comes with everything you need. It's one of those freebies that I get with the magazine. It comes with Ada. I believe it's 14 count. 14 count. It says plastic Ada. So I think it, it's not plastic canvas, but it is very stiff Ada. Um, you get the floss, you get some metallic thread, and some baker's twine. So you basically get everything you need to make this sweet little angel ornament. So I think this is a great little kit. So if you'd like a chance to win this, say something like about angel, A-N-G-E-L. Okay. And then the other thing we'll give away for today, um, this is another kit that I picked up from Acorns and Threads last week from the Sweetheart Tree. It is called Country Flowers Sampler. I think it's so pretty. And it comes with your fabric. Um, I don't think it comes with the floss. It does come with the floss, actually. So the fabric is a 28 count lamb's wool linen. So that's what I get. So for those of you who have never stitched on lamb's wool linen, it's very stiff. It's very stiff. Um, oh, cute. It's very stiff um, linen. So it does come with that, and then it comes with your floss, and then it comes with these sweet beads. Oops. So if you would like an opportunity to win, oh, and here's the chart again, what it will look like. And you get a bonus pin cushion chart. I don't know if you'll have enough floss and um, fabric to do the pin cushion, but you could pick anything out from your stash to do the pin cushion. And if you would like to stitch this, uh, say something about flowers. Let's start thinking spring. So country, sam country flowers sampler. Okay, so flowers, flowers and angel. All right, so plans for this week. So my plans for this this coming week is I'm really going to focus on Spring at Hawk on Hollow Block 5, which I just showed you a little bit ago. I'm also going to have the Easter Garon Toten Bags bag. I am going to, my goal is 10 hours on this basket here. Okay. 10 hours a month. Well, my goal is to get it done by Easter this year. Uh, so I'm going to spend 10 hours working on it this month. Have that little tiny start. So hopefully, hopefully it'll go fast um, because I, I and hopefully I will be able to get done Easter so early this year. It feels like it's 
what is it, like April 4th or something? It's at the beginning of April. So I am going to work on that um, this week as well and try to get my 10 hours in on that and then just as many hours as I can on Spring at Hawker and Hollow number five. And then let's spin for um, our Sunday stitch. So I have, this is my wheel. Oh, it's not coming up. 2021 goals wheel. I took off piece to my heart. I think I did. I should have. So that should not come up again. And we'll see what we'll be working on every Sunday in the month of February unless I finish the piece and then I'll spin again. Kringles. <laughs> I got really excited about Lamazing. Okay, Kringles. All right, let me go, let me pause and I'll go grab Kringles and I'll show you where I'm at on that piece. So Kringles was a market release last March. It's by Little House Needleworks. It is this beautiful kind of department store scene where you're looking in the windows of a department store. Here, I can hold it closer. And I'm just checking my goal on Kringles for this year is to finish the rooftop. So this whole rooftop, I'm going to finish. This is not on my Whipco board at all. So I'm going to have to find time to finish it. So this is great that it was called. And this is where I got to, oh, it looks like I have to do, I have to <laughs> um, fix those threads, the edgies. So this is where I got um, last year. I think I started this during Jolly July and I have not pulled it out since. Do I know what fabric I am stitching this on? I do. I'm stitching this on a 32 count pearl gray. And that's where I'm at. So I have a ways to go. Yeah, I mean, I'm just right here. And I'd like to get this whole roof done. So that's my goal for the year. So I will, I, I think this will definitely take me at least every Sunday the rest of this month to work on. So that'll be good. So I will be working on that this month and be able to show you my progress as we go along. That'll be good. I didn't mean to look disappointed that it was Kringles. I just got really excited about the llama. Um, <laughs> I, I love all my pieces. Okay, so that's it. So that's what we'll be working on. So Kringles tomorrow, Spring at Hawkrun Hollow number five, and the Easter basket. I think that's all I have and I plan to be back here next week to check in with you all until then have a great week and enjoy the Super Bowl if you're going to be watching it if you're in the states I'll talk to you soon bye